kid and Mr. Hitler. In the 70s, many master tapes of hit shows, including Dad's Army, were wiped and reused for other, some say lesser, programs. Bit by bit, though, copies of many of these shows were scrounged or otherwise recovered from various parts of the globe. But a tantalizing part of this much loved archive remains elusive. Some color episodes were lost for good, or so it seemed. So I was watching an old episode of Doctor Who, a John Pertwee episode, which I knew had been made in color originally, but we only had black and white film to view. So I was watching this at home and saw this, these red patches of color breaking through. And I thought, well, if I'm watching a black and white film print, where on earth is this color coming from? The reason James was seeing those flashes was because he was watching a black and white print of a colour programme. The BBC hadn't bothered to keep the colour version because it took up expensive tape stock. The master tape would have been uh, after, after it had been shown twice um, and after BBC Enterprises, as it was known then, uh, had taken a copy for their own sales purposes, the master tape would be, would be used for something else. Um, and, uh, and that was a very common practice. I was extremely angry uh, and I kept saying to David, I want names because I'm a cocky sod. Who has given orders to wipe our stuff? Because it was very precious with my first big success as a writer as opposed to other things I used to do like acting and stuff. And I was furious. Hey, I've got an idea. James Insull had the solution to the missing colour episode, at least. He could restore it using tiny screen data called chroma dots in the surviving black and white version. Well, this dot pattern is, is very fine on the film, so we need to scan the film in high definition to start with, and then create a, a file which the computer can then use to uh, analyse the dot pattern and decode all the colours into their, into their right places. Um, some manual intervention is, is required, uh, so it can be a, a fairly long and laborious process, but eventually we get out a, a copy of the raw output of this software, which can then be taken on to a later stage of restoration. Here's what James and his colleagues have achieved. The Beeb liked it so much, they funded complete restoration, like so. Mr. Speaker, sir. Yes, Corporal. Why are you wearing that shoulder protector, sir? Is that standard vest from now on? What do I make of it being colorized? I think it's marvelous. What I would hate to see is great sort of classic films like Casablanca and the Maltese Falcon, because I'm a great cinema buff. Colorized, I would be like painting a moustache on the Mona Lisa. There's hope that other favourites could be restored to their full glory. Now that the evergreen comedy of Dad's Army once again has the colours to go with it.